Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film this video today. Um, I haven't filmed a vintage coach bag video in quite a while and I've gotten a lot of requests recently to film more vintage coach bag videos. So um, I thought today would be the perfect day to go ahead and um, film another video about vintage coach bags. So um, yeah, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my all time favorite vintage coach bags. And um, I have done two, well, a couple of other vintage coach bag videos in the past. Um, one of the more popular ones that people love watching is my entire vintage coach bag collection, which I will link over here. And I will also link it down in the description box below. Um, in addition to my entire vintage coach bag collection video, I also have another video about how to clean and condition and restore vintage coach bags. So with vintage coach bags, they're often very, very dirty when you first buy them. Um, well, unless you buy one that's already been kind of pre-cleaned, but they generally are pretty dirty. Um, and I show you step by step in my video how to clean them and how to basically like restore them so they look very new. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in those two videos, definitely check out the description box below because I will have both of them linked there. So but for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my all-time favorites. Um, these three bags I use all the time um, and I just absolutely love these three vintage coach styles. Okay, so let's just get started. Okay, so my first um, vintage coach bag favorite, and I think this one is my favorite out of um, the three that I'm gonna show today. But the first one that I have here is the Vintage Coach Stewardess Bag. And this one is seriously such just a favorite of mine. Like I can't say that enough. Let me scoot back a little so I can fit this into the frame of the camera. But this is seriously my all time favorite vintage coach bag for a number of reasons. Um, this one, the style number is 9525. It is a shoulder bag and you can remove these straps or adjust them. I wouldn't recommend removing them because I'm not sure how else you would use this bag. Um, if you remove it, you kind of have like little floppy like parts of the strap here, um, like the base of the strap that can't be removed. So it's a little bit weird and it's definitely too big to use as a clutch. Um, so yeah, I would never, even though these, this strap is removable, I would never take it off. Um, and I, I don't really know why anyone would, but it is a shoulder bag. Um, the strap is adjustable and when you open it up, it has a turn lock and then it does have feet on the bottom. So that's really nice. It kind of prevents your bag from wearing out too quickly. But when you open it, there is a small pocket here in the front, and this fits like a phone. Um, you could probably fit like a small uh, wallet, card case, you know, definitely all of those things would fit in here. Then there is a little slip pocket here. It's um, pretty roomy, I would say. It's not, you know, like super, super big, but like papers or um, like really anything you want here. And then it opens up into the biggest compartment um, and then within this large compartment, there is a zip pocket in the back. So overall, I think this bag is extremely functional. I love how many pockets there are just for like organization. Um, and it's, it's just really practical and functional. And personally, the reason why I love this bag the most out of the three that I have here today is because it's so stylish and it's just so classic and timeless, which is true of all vintage coach bags, but I feel like this one especially, I just feel like, I feel like this style is, um, you know, becoming trendy again. So if you know, uh, or if you've heard of or seen the Everlane Form bag, this bag reminds me so much of the Everlane Form bag, but I think this one actually looks better. Um, if you don't know what the Everlane Form bag looks like, I'll try to insert like a photo here, but I think they're very, very comparable. Um, and I just think this one, you know, it's a really great size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It, it'll fit, definitely fit like an iPad, um, you know, a book, water bottle, wallet, keys, phone, makeup pouch. So it's definitely very roomy. Um, and it, I just think it's a good size and it's very easy to wear. It goes with pretty much anything. Um, you can wear it casually. You can also wear it to work. And this bag also comes in like lots of different colors. So you can get it in a, in the British tan, which is like a cognac. Um, it comes in a dark brown. It also comes in um, a really pretty red. So it just kind of depends on what you can find on the secondhand market. Now I got this one, I think off of Poshmark. 
Um, I don't remember how much I bought it for, but it wasn't for very much. I got a really, really good deal on this bag and it came in very nice condition. Um, I did clean it um, and condition it, but when it came, it was in uh, very good condition, like no tears, no rips. You can see like, you know, the leather is in um, just really beautiful um, condition. So yeah, I absolutely love this one and I would highly recommend this. If you want to see what this bag looks like on, I do have a lot of outfit photos with this bag, both on my blog and my Instagram. So I'll link my blog and my Instagram down below as well. And you guys can go and check that out if you're interested in seeing um, some different styling options with this bag. All right. So the next bag that I have here is the um, Vintage Coach I don't remember if it's called the basic bag, but they came out with um, like a re-release of this when the Vintage Coach collection came back again, like in 2012. Um, but I think the original one is much better than the one that was like released in 2012. So with this bag, the one that I have here, this one is actually from like the 1970s. It wasn't, um, it was made in New York City. So yeah, so this quality is so nice like the leather on this one is so thick it just feels like a very very good quality bag so with this bag um the reason why i like it is because it comes with a detachable strap which is you know the case for most vintage coach bags but um this one you can definitely use as a clutch if you don't um use the strap and i think it was actually meant to be worn both ways and then there's also like a wrist strap that you can um just use as like a wristlet if you don't use the strap so it's very convenient and i really like this just because of how simple it is um and the fact that you could easily take it you know for a night out without the strap or you can also wear it like on the weekends it's super easy to use super casual and then when you open it up it's just one big pouch and then there's a slip pocket here on the inside so there's not as many pockets as the stewardess bag but um i think this really serves like a different function i primarily use this one on the weekends when i'm just looking for something easy something quick and something where i can just throw all my stuff into without thinking much about it so i really love this there are so many bags nowadays that kind of look like this that have this general shape and simplicity um, and you know, they cost like $50, $100, just depending on like what brand you buy. Um, but I think this vintage coach option is such a great, um, you know, great alternative to what you see on the market now, just because it's so cheap. I think I got this one for like $17. The quality is amazing. And it, you know, you really can't tell it's a bag from like the 1970s. I think it's, um, really beautiful, super easy to use. And I just absolutely love this bag. Um, the hardware on this, on the vintage coach bags are also really, really nice. Um, the zipper is super like sturdy and chunky. And when you zip it, it just feels like it's really, really good quality. Um, this one does mark up a little bit more because of the lighter color. So you can kind of see like, you know, some scratches on this bag, but I actually like that look with these cognac type bags. I think it just you know, adds a little bit of character to the leather and a little bit of character to your look. This bag comes um, in like this British tan cognac color. I think it also comes in a black and a dark brown. Um, but yeah, several different colors that you can just, you know, try to hunt for again on secondhand markets. But um, absolutely love this bag for, you know, just like a quick, easy grab and go um, type of bag for weekend or, um, you know, just for running errands. So yeah, love this bag. All right, now the last bag that I have here, this one's kind of like a cheat because um, I I think this comes in the vintage coach styles. Um, this one that I have here was from the, the re-release in 2012, um, but I'm pretty, I think it's called the Coach Dinky bag. Um, there is another bag that is very similar to this, which is called the Coach, I think, pocket bag. Um, go and watch my Vintage Coach Collection video because I show all of them in that video. It's slightly bigger than this one. Unfortunately, I did sell both of the um, Coach Pocket bags that I had. I really, really liked them. They were a little bit redundant with this bag. Because this one was um, the first like Coach bag that I bought in kind of this vintage collection look, I really didn't want to get rid of this one, so I went ahead and sold the other two. But you can definitely, I think you can get this one in the vintage styles. I've seen it on secondhand markets. But with this bag, um, you just, again, this, the straps are detachable, so you can use it as a clutch. And I love using it like that. And then when you open it up, there's a little slip pocket here. And then um, 
like the major you know compartment and then there's another little slip pocket in the back of the bag so there are quite a few pockets in this little bag it doesn't hold too much um but it holds at the you know, just basically the bare minimums your wallet your phone your keys and you could probably fit like a chapstick um i still love this bag regardless because it's very just cute it's convenient and I would say the major difference between this one and the basic bag is that if you want to fit a little bit more into the basic bag, if you want to fit a little bit more into your bag, go with the basic bag. Um, I think that one is just, you know, purely for function. It's super basic, no hardware. It's just so simple. But this one I really like just for, um, you know, like a little bit of something extra um, with this little gold hardware. But it's still very simple. It looks really great with all outfits. Um, but it's just a little bit more modern looking. And I, so I love these vintage coach turn locks. I think they're super cute. But um, again, this is one of those super convenient bags that you can just kind of grab and go. It also fits really nicely into larger bags like totes. Um, so if you wanted to keep something small in your bag for after work, if you're going to go out, um, this is like a really great option just to kind of keep in your bag um, if you need a smaller option for after work. Um, all three of the bags that I showed in this video today are truly like the vintage coach bags that I absolutely love and I use all the time. Um, and these three are definitely ones that I would never get rid of in my collection. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for today. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe. I post videos every single week about fashion, life, and luxury. So if you are interested, definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Um, like I mentioned, I will link my other two Vintage Coach videos down in the description box below along with my blog and my Instagram. Um, so go and check those out if you want to see more Vintage Coach content. You guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.